Hi Weber fans, so today we're going to be cooking the perfect pork roast on the Weber Q. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Don't forget if you use my video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products. So make sure you check those out. To get the perfect pork crackle today, what we're going to be using is three things. Some paper towel, some olive oil, some salt and an indirect high heat. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Right, so a lot of people say to get that perfect pork crackle, you've got to get your pork from the butchers. You haven't. Today we're going to be using a supermarket roast, a vacuum packed, come out just as good as if you've got it straight from the butchers. The key to getting the perfect crackle is you've got to get this skin nice and dry because it's been in the fridge. We're going to put some olive oil in there and plenty of salt. The Weber's preheated and roasted prepared, so let's get this roast on the queue. Right, so now our pork roast on, we're gonna start preparing our vegetables and normally if you're doing it on the barbecue, you just put them around the outside at least an hour before your roast is due. So I'll dive in now and show you how we prepare our vegetables. So now we've peeled our vegetables. I'm just gonna show you potatoes, but this is exactly the same process with all the other vegetables you do, whether it be carrots, Sweet potato, every one I prepare exactly the same. So you're just going to cut them up into your sizes. Like so, and then all we're going to do is put some slits in, just some hedgehog slits just in the back. And you do that process on every vegetable that you do. I think what this does is it helps the heat disperse into the vegetables and just helps them cook that a little bit quicker. So our pork roast has been about half an hour now and it should have crackled. We're just going to jump outside, see if it's crackled and if you've got the room, this is the best time now to get those veggies on, ready to roast so they all come off at the same time. So we're 30 minutes in, so let's see if this has crackled. And it's starting to crackle, so we'll turn that down now to the roast setting. Pork roast has been off now for around 10 minutes and it smells divine. So we're gonna get this plated up and check out their crackle.
Now don't forget, everything you use in my video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. So as you can see, that crackle turned out perfect. That pork was absolutely moist. I nearly broke my teeth on the crackle, it was that hard. <laughs> but it turns out perfect. So as you can see, you can get the perfect crackle every time. If you want that perfect pork crackle, the ideal way is to get that pork nice and dry. I find the best way to do that is with plenty of paper towel. You wanna to get that nice and dry to get all that moisture out from when it's been in the fridge and when it's been in that vacuum pack. Make sure it's perfectly dry. Get plenty of olive oil on there, rub it in that fat, get plenty of salt, rub that in as well, and, and then re-salt it just before you put it on your queue. All you need is that indirect heat on a high setting for the first 30 to 40 minutes to get that perfect crackle and then the time to get your veggies on. Now I didn't do my veggies on my barbecue today, I did them on the Genesis. I didn't put them in the video purely because there was no point because I was doing them on the Genesis and I've done a video on how I cook my vegetables on the barbecue. You just put them around the outside and they will come out perfect. Like I said in that text, if you've got pumpkin, you want to allow around half an hour to 40 minutes for your pumpkin, purely because it cooks a lot quicker than your potatoes and your carrots. And again, to do those hedgehog slits in the back of those vegetables works a treat. So a big thank you to Robin Croyton for sharing that tip with me. Um, really, really appreciate it. And it works fantastic on your veggies and it's worth trying out. Now, if you do try that in your vegetables, make sure you comment down below, let me know how you get on, and let me know how you get on with your pork crackle. So again, those are new to the channel, if you find you getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is we'll cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one. But again, to do that, to do those hedgehog slits, and again, to do those hedgehog, yeah, yeah. some paper towel, some salt. So again, as you can see, re-salt it just before you put it on your, re-salt it, rub it in that, because it's been over the free, it's been in that 